it, you take someone's back, and you get both hooks in, that's four points. All right? Back mount is four points, full mount is four points. Those are the highest scoring moves in jiu-jitsu because we're always working toward a progression. We're trying to reward the progression that works toward finishing the fight. Clearly, from the back, if it's a situation where I can strike, I've got a lot of options to really do a lot of damage. Okay? And here, we're, we're primarily just working on the uh, submission hold element of jiu-jitsu. Um, we're going to work on our submission attacks. Okay? So, I introduced last week the seat belt a little bit as well, right? So we come here, the seat belt, one arm over the shoulder, the other arm under the armpit. If I'm up here trying to hold on, he's got too much wiggle room to move out. It's very difficult for me to control him. I can't control his upper body. But from here, I want to grab my hand here like this and bring it up high, okay? and keep his chest attached to my chest, all right? If you do this, grab my uh, right hand. Now he peels that hand off. Man, I don't have a choke anymore because this arm is underneath, all right? So I don't want him to peel this hand off, so I cover it all the way. Now, which hand can you peel? Well, yeah, he peels the top hand off, right? So now I go for the choke, okay? This week we're going to focus on the collars, but it's the same thing. <clears throat> All right, so I want here, I want to cover this top hand, kind of like my thumb into his chest here, bring the hand high, and attach my chest to his chest, and kind of put my ear to his ear. This limits his ability to move. He can't move his head, he can't move his back. All right, so he's in a really bad position. Okay, now he's going to peel the top hand. So go and peel, that's fine. I use that opportunity to feed the gi. Bring my thumb in, okay? Grab the other side of the lapel, and I stretch, all right? Now the gi can act as a jacket, as a flannel, as a button-down shirt, okay? So these chokes are good for the street, too. So we're here, I'm in this position, he peels the hand. I use that opportunity to grab the gi and feed it. See how I'm feeding it tight? All right, if I just kind of leave it like this and i got a loose grip, it's going to be tough for me to finish the choke. There's too much space. So whether he peels my hand off or I just let go and grab the gi, I've always got to feed. Always feeding the thumb into the collar. Now, from here, from here, okay? I'm just stretching like this. Right? I'm not letting go of the grip. I'm just taking both of my pinkies and trying to put them together. Right. Boss? Boss. Boss.